ushering today her Baba Deva Par by ushers, and they are ushering the day, and so she's going to be doing something else this moment here. She's going to read the scripture. If you can, you can please stand in honor of God's word, but if you can't, you don't have to. If not, you're not required to, but you can stand with us in honor of God's word. So stand. Praise the Lord!
Oh, 
blessing us, Lord. Thank you for your provisions. We just ask you to be there for us and keep us. Keep us. Bless us all for everyone that gave you a great day to leave us. Amen. 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 Just a minute, Sister Brenda Small is going to come. She's going to speak to us pretty quickly. Thank you. Thank you. We're we'll finished. We're we'll finished. Thank you for your service. She's going to speak to us. Really, not, not, she's not going to be home. She's, she's going to say some things that are important regarding um, the, the virus, the COVID-19. She's going to kind of give us an update on, on some of the things that are happening, some of the things that she's seen from her standpoint. Uh, so that, as you need to know, all of you may know, she's a nurse, uh, a master's degree. I actually have a master's degree also, uh, and she uh, she works in in in. in Healthcare right now. She's currently working in healthcare, so uh, she's going to speak to us really quickly around some things, and, and I may have some comments, but she's going to have some comments. So listen to uh, just a small, small. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the I want to tell you is that it is at a constant fire spread. Uh, we get the, the, for the state of Mississippi, for the area of Jackson, uh, Greenville, and Tupelo, there are no open beds for ICU patients because the amount of COVID positive patients come first and they have to take those patients. So, my suggestion to you is please wear your mask even though you've been vaccinated. I have been vaccinated, many of us have been vaccinated. But they are encouraged the public, even though it's not a mask mandate, to wear your mask because the variant, which is the Delta variant and the Lambda variant, is no longer conducive to the vaccinations. Meaning that no matter if you need to have vaccination, those two variants you can still get COVID-19. But with the vaccination, the severity of COVID-19 is not bad. So what we're seeing in the hospital systems now are persons that are not being vaccinated, that are in critical care. They range from 25 years old up to older age. They're dying with COVID-19. Right. And we see a lot of patients that are pregnant. And 70% of the patients that have not received the vaccine because they were afraid initially to give it to them, they now have COVID-19. And some of the severity is when, I will say, on our own family experience, my sisters and I have been dealing with, I had a sister who passed away at 41 with lupus, and her daughter right now is, was in Texas and had COVID-19. She was 28 weeks pregnant. The baby was born. We had to take the baby so she could breathe. They wanted to transfer her to a better hospital in Texas, but they were so filled up, she could not go to the hospital in Texas. They sent her to another hospital in Oklahoma City. Jeez. So she's right now fighting for her life with her child at two pounds. Thank God for prayer that at two pounds, the baby act like the baby's not two pounds. So I want to let you know it is very serious. It is very serious for you to wear your mask. And in the church, I will ask you to sit with your family. Six feet, we need to remember to continue social, social distance, elbow bump, and make sure you use your hand sanitizer, okay? Because we don't want to spread it in church. It's a little bit warm in here to be right now. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm a little warm in here. And with heat, it does spread. So we need to be mindful. We need to respect the pastor. When it's time to leave, we need to go home. Amen. Older people, 65 and older, the CDC is recommended that you go home and you do, you do not associate with mass gatherings or be in mass gatherings because you can still be infected with the virus. So we still encourage people to take the vaccine. If you have not taken it, Greenwood the Floor Hospital is offering to the public. There, you can call or look on the Mississippi State Department of Health website and take the vaccine if you so desire. If you're still weary about it, pray and ask God to show you what you need to do. Thank you. Amen.
nationwide you can do it do it if you want to you don't have to if you don't want to but it's really a serious matter for sure but uh, just just I just wanted to have some comments so we can just kind of be aware just be aware of what's going on so we can make an informed decision on what we want to do. Um, thank you for being a part of this meeting. We, we, we good. I love something that you said you said that she encouraged families family certainly can sit with each other and there shouldn't be there's no issue with that but, but for those that do not have that family they want to try to get you some room get you some space but you can uh, from, from one group to another if you possibly can uh, just just so you can be safe but listen you're going to you know, wear your mask that was something else she pushed and said it was important just continue to wear your mask wear your nose wear it over your mouth uh, whenever you're in public places uh, do that and, and listen of course, the Lord has to be with us. The Lord has to help us. Amen. The Lord is Amen. our help. Yes, he is. And that's what we're, we're depending on. But then we also take whatever measures that we can to uh, protect ourselves also. So do those things that you have heard. We have an awesome choir that is already together today. Amen. Amen. And we got an awesome choir <laughs> that, that's together. Man, they're ready to sing already. And you, uh, you are here, I think, um, Deacon Small said about 13 uh, this morning. Uh, oh, my goodness. So uh, they, uh, Sister, Sister Brenda and Deacon Small are working uh, with that, that youth population. And many of others, others, others also bringing you, bring your young people with you also. Thank you for being a part of this. We're trying to raise up your no right things. Trying to raise your right They can make whatever decision they want to make when they leave us. But we're going to do our part right here with us. Amen, amen. Come on, you. Come on, fire. Come on, fire. You got the music here? That's what it is.
There is power in the name of Jesus. And it came to break every chance. You know, I think about these little children up here, and I think about what we're going on, what's going on in our society. You know, if we don't put our hands on the man, it's hard to be in an old tree. So we are trying to place our hands on them. So when they get ready to go out of the community, they'll be able to be tamed a little bit, okay? Not guaranteeing that they're not going to spray, but at least we put our hands on them. So we're teaching them there is power in the name of Jesus. And so do what? Break every chain. Pray for us in Jesus' name.
that we are human beings, we can't totally escape everything that's vain and, and, and escape all vanities that are in life. We can't totally escape it. Uh, but the lesson says, Lord, whenever it's all said and done, when all of it really, really come down and matters, Lord, I don't want everything that I've done in life. I don't want everything that I have accomplished. Everything that I've been a part of. I don't want all of everything, Lord, to be in vain. I don't want everything to be in vain. Oh, God, I need you to help me, Jesus. I don't want my life to be defined by emptiness. Uh, especially when there's a God that's willing to fill my cup. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I don't want to be, my, my life to be just filled with, with those things that, that are empty or composed of that which is false. Uh, Lord, in other words, I thought I had something, but it was false. I thought I knew something, but I didn't know what I thought I knew it ended up being. Well, I thought I was doing something. Right. I'm telling you, I don't want my life to be in vain, Jesus. Please, Lord, I don't want my living. I don't want my living to be in vain. I want to make sure that there's something that's happening that I'm participating in doing something, Lord, that's worthwhile. The time to have this conversation about, uh, and we began to review our lives to see whether or not everything that we are involved in means, does it mean anything? The time to do that and to have this conversation is now, right? We can't have this conversation after everything is said and done. We need to be looking at our lives now to make sure that I'm doing something, though. I'm involved in something. I, 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 I've gotten connected to something uh, that's not vain, that's not vanity, uh, something that's double lasting, something that I can hold on to. Oh my goodness, I don't want my life to be based upon folly, what right. is folly of the sinners. And that, that is something that I, I, I don't want to be all for nothing. And folly is just something that's it's just all for nothing. I, I remember, let me say this really quickly, I remember uh, a movie that I watched one time. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an advocate of Western, I like Western movies. Uh, I watched a, a movie that was entitled High Noon. He was going to come back and he was going to kill the sheriff. He was going to kill the sheriff, Kane. And so, so Kane knew what was they, they were to come back because it, it, whenever somebody get ready to get out of jail, they go ahead and let the county know, right. let the sheriff know, let the resident. They let them know ahead of time. They they, they don't got out of jail. They just want you to know real well. So they they told Kane that that, that, uh, that the, the man that got out of jail, he's coming back. He, I think he got a one way ticket to back to your place. So Kane was trying to raise. A, a, a posse in order some people to help him. I, I know exactly where I am. I'm saying I don't want my living to be in vain. But hold on with me. Just follow me right through here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talking about folly. Talking about it all for nothing. He tries to raise a posse and goes to some people to try to get some help. Some of the upstanding citizens in the city, and he, and he says, I need some help. And they turn him down. Finally, he goes. He finally goes to the sheriff. The old sheriff is still there in the city. He's retired now. He's still living there. But he finally goes to the old sheriff and says, I need, I need you to come and be with me because this guy is coming back and I need somebody to help me. Mm -hmm. The sheriff tells him that if I were you, sheriff, I would go ahead and get my wife and get my buggy and get out of town. Because what you're about to do is all for nothing. Uh, he basically said, well, whatever you finna do, you try, you finna try to do something you consider to be honorable and right and fine and upstanding, but he's saying it's all for nothing. These folk don't care. 
It's all for nothing. You're doing it for nothing. I'm, that's the reason I'm to me everything that I do in life. Yes. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be all for nothing. Yes. That's right. I don't want everything that I do. I don't want what was the 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 source there was some source of thought. Right. Right. They said I don't want my living to be in bad. Yes. They have a call now. I think they bad. They said, no, the question was, is my living? Yes, that's right. Yes. They said, is my giving in vain? Yeah. Yeah. Is my praying in vain? Yeah. Is my fasting in vain? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want everything to be in vain. Amen. Amen. I don't want it all to be in vain. They, 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 the song goes on to say, am I wasting my time? Woo! Yeah. 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 Have I let my light shine? Jesus. Have I made man at night? They found the commandment to know I had made it. No, of course not. Right. It's not all that. And right. I hope that pray that 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 we can move around and at some point realize that, that there's something that we got going on in life. That's right. That's not in vain. It's not bad. Thank you, Lord. You see, that there's something that I'm doing and I'm holding on to. That's not in fact. Uh, my, 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 the, the life that I'm trying to live uh, is not all in vain. I have to give up some things. That's right. I, I, have, I, have to, I have to say no to myself sometimes. That's right. But it's not all in vain. I, 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 I just want to make sure that there's something that I'm doing. I don't want my living to be in vain. When we look into the spirit, I'm not going to be long, I promise you, I'm not going to be long. But when we look into the scripture, we, we find that vain and vanity is, 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 I said to her, it's actually something we can't escape. In fact, David wrote about it. He said, every man has some degree of vanity. He says, man, in fact, the scripture said, man in his best state is all but vain. David wrote, he says, the thoughts of man, man. The jokes said the, the days of man, oh, Lord, in vain, vanity. Worldly pleasures and worldly possessions right. of the time is vanity, right? It, 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 it going to do me any good when it all said and done. Nope. Uh, that, that, that's important. It's not, I'm not submitting that it's not important for us to, to have dreams and to have desires and, and to go after careers and to, and to do those things that are good and that are important in life. I'm not saying that that's not important. Yeah, there's some things that we ought to do. But I need to understand and put in perspective. Right, right. Uh, and to know that what is this going to achieve for me? Right. When it's all said and done. I need to know that there's something that I'm doing in my life. Yes. I need to know that there's something that I'm a part of in this life. Yes, right. It's not in that. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Lord. I need you to help us in that. Yes, Jesus, help us. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't want my living to be in vain. Let me get my lesson really quickly. In the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah, he says, Oh, the word of the Lord came to me. I said, I was, and the Lord began to speak to me and he told me something. He says, go and cry into the ears of Jerusalem. He says, go to the city of Jerusalem where my people are. Go to my people and, and I want you to speak to them. I want you to say something to them. Thus said the Lord, he said, the Lord tells them, I remember them. Now, isn't that wonderful saying? That we know that God remembers. I want you to know something that God remembers. God remembers us. And that Jeremiah was aware that God remembers because the Lord had already spoken to Jeremiah earlier and told him that before you were formed in the dead, right, right. I knew you. In fact, before you came out of the womb, he told Jeremiah, he said, I knew you. I knew who you were. I knew all about you at that time. Point. So, so, so the Bible says, Jeremiah said, the Lord came, the word of the Lord came to me and told me to go and speak to his people and tell them, I remember thee. 
I remember the Ezekiel wrote about it and said, I remember you when you were born. And the day before it wouldn't even cut. I remember that even before they washed you up with water, I remember. Yeah. Uh, uh, God, 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 God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He told them, he said, I remember you when no one would have pity on you. I remember. Thank God. Oh, Lord. When no one would have compassion on you, I remember. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Uh, it was a time that we were in love with each other. Oh, Lord have mercy. It was a time that I remembered you when you were in such a terrible state. That I spoke into your life and told you to leave. Uh, God gave life to the situation. Woo. He spoke life to yes. my yes. destiny, my terrible situation. Yes. He said, doesn't have to all be in vain, brother. I'm going to speak life to you. And I'm going to speak some life to you. Yes. He said, I remember it. I remember that you were in such a terrible situation. You were naked. But I spread my skirt over. Oh, I remember you. I remember the kindness of that youth. I remember when you went after me in the wilderness. I remember uh, I was, it, it was Jesus in the morning. It was Jesus in the noon. I remember when it was Jesus in the evening. I, I remember it. That's what the Lord told me. Jeremiah, go tell my people. Tell them. I remember. I remember. He said, I remember when Israel well, the epitome of what holiness was. Right. Jesus. Whenever I thought of holiness, I thought of Israel. Right. Oh, right. Right. Israel was, my, was the first fruit. Yes. Uh, uh, Lord have mercy. But then he said something to Jeremiah. He said, Jeremiah, when you get to him, I want you to ask him a question. What the iniquity have your fathers found? What was the issue that they had with me? Uh, that they are long far from me, and now they are walking in vanity. They are walking in vain. Wow. They are gone vain. Wow. Wow. The only thing that's important to them now is stuff that's vain. The only thing that's important to them now is stuff that don't last. The only thing that's important to them now is something that, that, that's going to become somebody else to lay off. Amen. He says, ask them what happened. What you say? That's the reason I'm telling you today, my brothers and sisters, I don't want my living to be in vain. I don't want everything that I've done to be in vain, but I want to find myself involved in something that's worthwhile. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's the reason. That's the reason I decided a long time ago to make Jesus my children. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, sometimes the road gets yes, Jesus. Uh, sometimes yes, the road yes, gets yes, stuck. Yes, yes. Sometimes the heel might be hard to climb up. Yes. But I started out a long time ago. Yes. There's no doubt in my mind. I decided that I want to make Jesus my children. I wanted something that I could hold on to that wouldn't be in vain. Right. Uh, everything else passed away. That's right. uh, what the commission says, it's like the future becomes the past. That's right. Uh, everything else will pass away. It's only the thing that we do for Christ. That's, just last. Last. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't want my living to be in vain. I don't want my living to be in vain. I don't want to be, that, be, be concerned so much about this stuff and these things that I have that I can see, hear, smell, taste, and feel. That's I don't want to be so concerned about that right. stuff. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That I make it more important than I am. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, whenever the Lord asks a question, he asked a question here to Jeremiah. He said, Jeremiah, when you go and speak to the inhabitants of Israel, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, I want you to go and speak to them. And I want you to ask them a question. What type of problem did they have with me? Lord, have mercy. I, I, I did my best to be good. I fed them when they were hungry. Jesus. What type of problem did they have? Jesus. When, when they were naked, I clothed them. Jesus. What kind of problem did they have? Jesus. 
problem did they have? Jesus. When they didn't have food to eat, I gave them food and right. bread Lord, from yes. heaven. What type of problem did they have with me? Jesus. I'm telling you, I don't want all my living to be in vain. The Lord said, the issue is that they left me. They left following me and they left pursuing me. Because, see, I remember when they loved me and we were in the, and, and even in the wilderness, how they went after me. Jesus. He said, well, what happened? What happened? I want you to ask them what happened. What did I do that has created a problem now that they are now going after things that are not important? Things that, 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 that's good for nothing, that, that's all for nothing. Invaluable. It's all for nothing. Yes. I don't want to live my life and, and, and concentrate on things that's all for nothing. Not Come on. I'm not submitting. Listen, I know that we are dual nature, right? We, we are both humans, we're both earthly, and we're heaven. We're spiritual beings, and we're natural beings. Yeah. That means, yeah, we have to take care of natural things. That's right. Uh, we do have to take care of natural things. And, and all of it, I told you this, that there, there's something, some vanity, some vainness we can't escape, right? There's something that we have to do, we have to do in order to continue on with our life. But the Lord, the issue that the Lord had with his people was, and he sent Jeremiah to speak to him. He said, if, if the issue is that he left me and they made these things more important than I am. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I hope you come to the realization that I have, that I don't want my life, I don't want all my life to be in vain. I don't want my living to be empty. That's right. I don't want it to be emptiness. I got a whole lot of stuff, but it's empty. Yeah. I, I got a whole lot, I got I accumulated a whole lot, but it's empty. It's emptiness. Doesn't bring me in. I'm, I'm still looking for stuff. Still needing some stuff. Uh, that's okay because some things in life, uh, the things that we have to deal with in life, sometimes they are empty and they're vain. I know that. I understand. Empty. Empty. Oh my goodness. But I don't want everything to be empty. Lord have mercy. I don't want everything to be foolish. I don't want everything to be useless. If it called, if the Lord called upon me to, to relinquish or to leave that thing, Where it is a loose guard. I hope it's not so important to me that I can't walk away from it. God, I need to get up on you. Watch it, Jesus. I need to get up. I don't want my living. I don't want my living Jesus. to be in vain. Jesus. I don't want my living to be in vain. My yes. brothers and sisters. Only the thing that we do for Christ is going to last. Only the thing that we do for Christ. I want us to make a decision. Make a decision. I want you to be aware of something. That, 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 that if you're not pursuing Christ, if you're not trying to make sure that, that you got a relationship with the Lord that He is pleased with. He is pleased with. Right. Uh, that you have that you have if, if if you haven't completely obeyed him, I want you to be submitting to yourself. Today, I walk out of here and say, Lord, I don't please that me, Lord. I don't want all my living to be in vain. I, I, I don't want everything to be in vain. And I'm telling you, unless we find a relationship with Christ and get in God, get in Christ, whatever it takes, Lord, whatever you require of me, Lord, that's what I'm willing to do because I don't want everything. I don't want my living, Lord. I don't want it to be in vain. Stand with me right now. Stand with me right now. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. The Lord sometimes sends his word. And sometimes when he speaks to us, sometimes we don't all, we don't know everything that he's trying to achieve. But God knows exactly what he's doing. That's right. Time. Yes, he oh. does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yeah. Hallelujah. He knows exactly Lord. who he's speaking to. That's right. And I'm going to tell you who he's speaking to today. He's speaking to every one of us. Amen. From the pulpit 
to that door. Amen. Every one of them probably speaking to yes. us. Say, don't let them live and be in vain. Don't let everything that, that you do in life, don't let everything you do in life, don't let it be in vain. You cannot say it because you need some help from the Lord. You need some help. You need some help. If you need help, these ministers have come to assist you here at the altar. If you need help, if you're not, if you need some you know you're not in a place you should be. You haven't done all you should do. You don't have everything you, you know you need. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, don't let, every, don't let your whole life be in vain. Don't let your whole life be in vain. Don't let it be in vain. Don't let, don't let all your living be in vain. And it doesn't have to be that way. The Lord says, what have I done? I thought I was good to you. What have I done? I thought I made a way for you, but then I did. I brought you out of issues and problems. But what, what, what's the issue? What did I do? That you have forsaken me and you don't have to that. Lord, we need you today. Receive my word. 